It's a strange thing uh, for me. I, I don't really have any fear working here. Maybe the first few days I did, because you know we didn't know much about COVID and, and what the results were. I'm Colonel Roger Scott, and I am a nurse practitioner. I had been in the regular force for 10 years um, when I was young. When I left the regular force, I just wanted to stay connected to the military. There was always something for me about being in the military. I decided to stay in the reserve force, and here I am, year 36. <laughs> My regular job is not clinical full-time. I'm a director in the headquarters. And so when this started and, and the extra clinical horsepower was needed, it was nice to come back and get to do patient care more full-time as, as part of my regular job. We've been quietly back here swabbing away now for a few months and, and taking care of the people so that they're fit and ready to go out and do the other parts. Typically, uh, I'm the one that collects the swab if I'm the one seeing that particular patient. So after we've gone in and, and confirmed the history, we'll get all gowned up. You got to wash your hands. It's always about hand washing these days. We tell our patients to wash their hands. We wash our hands a lot. We've got a big blue gown that we put on that's uh, protective. Pop on a mask, the goggles go on, or face shield. Put on your gloves, and then you can go in and do the exam and collect the swab. I see patients after they've been uh, assessed by one of our medics. The medics will bring them in and do a quick uh, assessment, set of vital signs, that sort of thing. And then they'll refer them either to me or to the physician assistant or the, or the medical officer. From the point that I see them, they're already in one of our rooms where we're going to assess them. Um, when it comes to the swab, uh, we do the swab. So it's uh, just a small little swab and it goes in through the nostril to the back of the throat. You give it a few spins to make sure that you, uh, you pick up what you need to and then that's it. My brother, who's a chief warrant officer, he thinks it's okay as long as I'm safe. Uh, but he understands the idea that you do what you're asked to do in the, in the calf. My mom doesn't like it very much at all because <laughs> she's not allowed to come visit me and she's also very worried that I'm going to get sick. My mom is a quilter and she downed tools from quilting and found a pattern online to start making masks. And uh, just about everybody that works in my directorate at NDHQ, most of the staff here, have all been uh, the, the recipients of one of my mom's new, uh, new handmade masks. So that's made her feel like she's doing something to help out as well, and I think made her feel a little bit better about the fact that I'm, I'm here. Working here, doing this, this COVID uh, testing this frontline response, for me, it, it's been satisfying. This gives me an opportunity to feel like I'm doing just a little bit more. It's just another part of, of what I do as part of my job as a healthcare provider. And it's felt good to be part of it.